How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Ranked Report. Today, we are continuing with the hard trip from team that we were using last time. Um, we're going to see if Laurentis actually does anything at all. Um, <laughs> this doesn't feel like the game. Ah, maybe it is. Uh, just rebandization. I need incineral to dualization here, don't I? How fast is this feeling? Not very fast. Okay. Um. Hmm. I kind of have to go mini ins in here, right? This so makes that a little bit scary, but well, I'm gonna bring Lorantis Cali. That's just such a commitment to the trick room mode. And it gives me so little to deal with Zation. I think I need to bring a Lecky back end here. In which case, do I not bring Lorantis? I guess Calorix kind of deals with everything else better than Lorantis does. The only thing Lorantis deals, does better against is um, Suicune. But then Suicune's taken care of by a Lecky anyway. Yeah, I think this is it. I think play for a hard trick from opening and then clean up with a Lecky late game. So what I've found in the, the other couple of games I've played with this team is that I've, I've kind of found myself out of position once I've um, once my first trick room um, goes down. Okay, the Gozation of Lecky. Um, I'm significantly more scared of Zation's damage output. Um, so I think I'm going to go for... Um, fake out Zation and Trick Room. Uh, TR. And Fake Out. Where's this? Uh, Nuki's not running Willow. Obviously, there's a Feeny on the team. Willow doesn't make a huge amount of sense, but okay. Ooh, big damage. Um, they Volt Switch. This makes sense. They break my Nuki's Sash. Or Disguise, even. Um. I guess if I read that they were going to go for a Volt Switch and double into the Mimikyu there, I could have actually gone for um, Fake Out into a Lecky to break a potential Sash. Might have been useful. Because like the, the end result is just Mimikyu's Disguise gets broken. Um, maybe we're going to That's fine. Um, flinches, and I get Trick Room. Yeah, not letting them reposition might have been nice. Um, yeah, the problem is now I don't really have a way through this Suicune. I think I maybe have to just leave the Suicune there. Um, I can get some chip on it, but I mean, this isn't going to do anything, is it? Um, I feel like the Blitz Intization is so obvious here. I'm just going to parting shot off Suicune. Oh, wait, if they scold this slot, I'm in trouble. I'm risking a skull burn here. This was stupid. I probably didn't protect their Zation though. Just go for blitz. Um, I can't bring a lucky here though because I'm I'd be so out of position. I think I have to risk skull burn. I put myself in a horrible position here. Yeah, this team's Zation matchup is really sketchy. If your best and only Zation answer is in sin, then yeah, yeah, they scold. Oh, it's gone to Mimikyu. What? What a weird move. Mimoth Blade into... That's got it into Mimikyu. Please tell me this is into Mimikyu. There's no way they'd be Mimoth Blade in my... Um... Oh my god, they're insane. I live? Dude, Calyrex is broken. Holy hell. That's an insanely hard read from my opponent. Jesus. Um... I think I protect and switch an Incin, right? Hmm. Is Calyrex dead to a Skull from here? I don't think it is. Could just force Pathization. Because, speaking of minus one, I don't know if Calyrex dies to this. That's a ridiculously hard read for my opponent. I guess the party shot is kind of obvious, but... Hmm. This comes in. I 
Just show me not protect her. Uh, okay, I mean... Inton's dead here, which is pretty handy. Um, I think this ends up working out relatively okay-ish. Horsepower. Kick. Yeah, Inton dies. Okay. Um, not unwinnable. Really not unwinnable. Um, scold into... Yeah. I'm not dead. Don't burn. Okay. A little bit fortunate there. Uh, over two on burns. Now is, is this protectionization? I'm definitely dead to another scold here. This person did what? Well, person did 22, so I'm not getting enough of a reduction on that. I'm just going to go blitz here into Zation and Glacial Lance. Um, reason being, this will pick up Zation if it doesn't protect. I'm pretty sure. Um, and even if it does, I get a chunk of damage down on Suicune. Station goes out, who comes in? Nothing takes this. I'm pretty content with Aleki going down here, actually. Special Lance, is it Sash? That is the question. What does it do an absurd amount to Suicune? Not plus two. That's a lot. It is Sash, but it's also dead, so, you know. Um, I didn't count my trick from turns, though, let me think. So, trick went up turn one. Turn two, passing shot. Turn three was horsepower. Turn four was this. So there's one more turn of trick room. I think I bring a lucky in here regardless, to be honest. Um, yeah, I can bridge you lucky. Um, comes in. So what we do now is I can party shot off Suicune, which kind of neutralizes it. And then next turn I can switch Incin back into Intimidation. Um, yeah, there's one more turn to trip from, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to party here and protect. I guess if they sub here with it, if they hard read this and sub, which wouldn't be the craziest play given how much they've been reading me so far. Um... I mean, it guarantees to pick up on Suicune next turn. Then it protect. Are they going to sub? That would be super bad. Um, ugh, maybe she's just passing off the Zation there. What's, what's worst case? If I protect and passing off Zation, they protect and they scold me? That wouldn't kill Insin. They can't burn me. I'd KO Suicune the turn after, and I guess it's hard to mimic you. Okay, that makes me think they're doubling the Aleki. Yeah, okay. Okay, we have gotten away with it. Um, I'm go to Do I just protect Mimi here? I don't want to set trick from this turn because. Uh... Oh wait, Volta should pick up Suicune, won't it? I'm being daft. Um... Yeah, Ensign comes in here. I just Volta shot with Suicune. Yeah, no, this is this is the play. I'm being stupid. This way, I preserve my regular lucky. Um... Yeah, no reason not to. There's Magnet Volta should pick up from here. Turn it goes down. Unless I go for a fighting mutant by Mimikyu here, um, which seems unlikely. Um, wait, they have Protect on Suicune? Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Who wins Protect on Suicune? I've never seen Protect on Suicune. And they sub. That's no bueno. 
Okay. Um. Um. I'm mean, gonna have to party shot for party shot for Zation still, and then bolt switch off the Suicune, which lets me bring my Regulecky back in. There's any risk if they double protect here, right? Why am I bothering to go off to Suicune? Maybe we should just double it to the Zation this turn. Eh. Ah, oh, I don't know. Okay, I get the Volt Switch off, this should kill. I just left right. Yeah. Okay. Getting a Mimic you. Sacred Sword, this one killed. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> how much did that do? 140 ish? Just under 138. That's a neutral, so at minus one it's doing under 100. Yeah, I live in another one of those. Um, okay, that's, that's game over. Um, I think my best play here might actually be Volt Switch to break sub. Um, bring you in for another Intimidate. And I'm going to stuck in the field either way. Now I'll just get T Bolt. I need to overcomplicate this. Um, if they don't KO Lucky this turn, they lose. And if they KO Lucky this turn, then next time I have Fake Up Trick from I can just Flare Blitz them. Um, okay, T Bolt. Cool. Obviously, there's no point going for a Shadow Sneak with Mimikyu. Sacred Sword. I don't think this kills, does it? Oh, wow, that was nothing. God damn. They're off. Give me MQ, big damage. Um, and now I just go T Bolt and. I guess technically it's better to sneak, uh, but I'm pretty sure T Bolt will just pick it up. Get snuck. And T Bolt. Cool. That's game one. Um, yeah, I quite like that actually, the, the Reggie Lucky back end. Um, like I was saying, it just gives you something to work with when your initial trick room goes down. Because um, that's one of the things with hard trick room teams, is a lot of the time if you get caught, like if you don't do enough with your first trick room, you can't get back into position to set up another one. Um, unless you play very, very carefully, but with only one fake out user, um, as any kind of trick room setup on this team. Um, once Mimikyu's disguise is broken, you're just kind of dead in the water. Um, you don't have any redirection or anything or, or terrain to help you set up trick rooms. So yeah, once, once Mimikyu's disguise is down, you can't really guarantee a second one. Um, certainly, at least with, uh, not without risking your Calyrex. Um, generally, I think if Calyrex has been in for enough turns, it's probably taken enough damage that it's not going to be able to set another trick room up anyway. Hmm. <sighs> Me another trainer, come on. Isn't it one of those days? Nobody spending their uh, their Monday afternoon playing a video game. There you go. You've got that's unpronounceable. Um, ooh, Moltres, interesting. Um, Dude, Calyrex looks so good here. They're running triple like sweetness. I think I just I just go mini in here, right? And then bring Cali and I don't know who my last is though. Cause I can't really stop Xerneas getting a um because instant double dark move, right? And I don't have taunt on Mimikyu. Hmm. I don't know if I can stop Xerneas getting a, a Geomancy off. Which is a problem. And if Zodius gets a Geomancy off, like what I hit it with. Orantis doesn't really do anything here. I think maybe I go Feeny here just for the terrain against Amoongus. Maybe it'd be able to take a hit, drop some accuracy or something on Xerneas, I don't know. You've got no fairy resists on this team. Nothing that even hits it super effectively. 
Like, there's not a single move that hits Xerneas super effectively on this team. Holy smokes. Oh, I'm going to be so careful with this one. Oh, I don't much like that. I mean, I do get Trick Run up here, at the very least. Um... Wait, their Incense faster than my Incense. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Um... Okay, how much Bolt do I have on Mimikyu? I must have enough to survive the Surging Strikes, right? There's no way this is not enough to survive the Surging Strikes. Okay, you're like max HP Bold. Oh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Never mind. Um, yeah, so I just trick from here. I think I actually want a parting shot. Because, like, a large part of this is going to have to be me making as much as I can of my um, trick from turns. I think I want a parting shot off the... Um, Ursh. Do I? Mm, Ursh could detect, I guess. I don't think it's likely to, but... I guess if it's spammy surging strikes, it doesn't really matter anyway. Instant should live this because of Barry. Um, okay, they're going to Mimikyu. Please tell me they didn't double Mimikyu here. Would a double on Mimikyu kill off for Intimidate? No way, right? Oh, it might do. Oh, I didn't think this was kill, but it probably will, won't it? Okay, they're just passing shots, thank god. Okay, if they'd gone for levels there, I would have been in a lot of trouble. Um, <laughs> Who comes in? The Moongus, maybe? That'd be my guess. Um, it's Zern. This feels like a pretty good opportunity to press the... Um, press the horse button. Yeah, this is a horse button time, right? Okay. How hard do I want to read the Incineroar switch in here? I feel like the answer is pretty hard. Actually, has got to go out into Incin here, right? Zonius is just scared of too much to attack as well. Not that it doesn't need damage if it does. I think my players decide sneak here and then just horsepower into the um, Ursh. Show me a switch. Show me a switch. Yep, show me an Incineroar. Now protect your Xerneas, please. If you'd be so kind. So I think their plan here is what? Bring an Incin. Uh, protect Xerneas. Next turn, fake out Geomancy. Protect against all that trick room, game over. However, they've been outplayed. Okay, that did nothing, let's go. Okay, plus some horsepower kills Insin, and then Kali becomes plus two, and then kills everything. That is the game plan now. Horsepower, you're dead. That didn't kill. What? Eh, it's on like one HP. I'm just sneak it. Um. Do I even bother sneaking? I don't think I do. The only way they don't die immediately here is if they go for um, fake out. And if they go for fake out, then I'm still in a good position against the Sin anyway. So I actually don't know if I necessarily want to kill it here. I think I'd rather bring in my own... Do I bring in my Feeny? I'm going to Feeny. I'm just going to Glacial Lance. Um... I can't believe that lived. I had the read and everything. That must be like max bulk. So I'm at plus one off that horsepower. Kind of nuts that that lived. Um, go for anything other than a fake out. Hard read to protect. Okay, so then goes out into probably Ursh, I would guess. 
Amogus. Oh, good thing I've got Feeny. And they figure out horse. I feel like there's no way this isn't just double KO here, right? They can't spawn me. So I just go for... Ice move and fairy move? How many times have I got that from Trick Room? Um, two. Oh, yeah. Um... I think Moonblast I think I'm Moonblast here, right? Just more damage. Um, this game's kind of over. Oh, they have Pollen Puff. Does that save it? I don't know if it does. And I've still got the boost off of... Um, the Amoogus anyway. I don't think I much care. Um, that's so much damage. Cool. I mean, they can party joy here to store up the last turn of Trick Room, but I don't know how much they actually achieve by doing that. They do get a parting shot. Problem is now they get a Geomancy up with Xerneas, uh, which puts me in a really bad spot. Um, you can only take out one of my Pokemon. They bring in Ursh? Please be Sash. Ooh, mm. actually, I actually think that's probably the best case, isn't it? Um, I think that is best case. Um, um so this is the last turn of TR, right? Into here. If they don't set up a Geomancy, I think I'm kind of fine with this, but I think what I want to do is I want to go for, um... Do I switch in my own Incin? Yeah, switching in my Incin here gives me a pretty free fake out trick from next turn, so I think I just do that. And again, if they go for anything other than Glacier, uh, sorry, if they go for anything other than fake out here, they get punished for it. And if they fake out an attack with Xerneas, I'm just not worried at all. Um... I think they're Geomancy here though, right? Feels so unlikely they don't. They get into a horse, whatever. And there's Geomancy, yep. So again, the fake out was kind of pointless. Um, the one way this goes wrong is if this instant has taunt. Um, I think that is the only possible way this thing, this game goes wrong. Um, uh, I can play around that, actually. I can play around the taunt. Because what I can do is I can fake out Xerneas and go for Ice Move. And then next turn I protect Calyrex. So do you have to protect on Calyrex, don't I? Yeah, protect Calyrex, switch and Mimikyu. And then next turn bring an Incin again. And then fake out Trick Room. I think that makes the most sense, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to fake out. And I'm going to Glacial Lance. It, this just covers for a, a potential taunt. Um, just taunts the lose one here. Oh, they just don't protect. I guess they're reading a Trick from here. They do have Taunt. There you go. That's why I played around that. Um, yeah, I just go to Lance. That did not do as much as I thought it would. No, I guess I've been intimidated a couple of times. Um, yeah, like, it's guaranteed that Incin goes down there. Um... Because, like, even if Levelis won't kill Calyrex from this range, because they're intimidated. Even if Levelis crit, I don't think, potentially would have picked it up. Um, so I guess the question now is, how do I seal this up? I think I go... I don't need Calyrex to win this now, do I? Not strictly. They'd have to Moonblast Calyrex in order to win in this range. So I think what I can do is I can go Parting Shot into Mimikyu here. I can't trick from. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Lingo Moonblast, that's fine. 
maybe reading a switch, but yeah. That's why I just swung with Calyrex, because in order to pick up either of my Pokemon there, they have to go for the um, Moonblast. I don't think a Gleam will pick up either of them. Um, so if they Moonblast my Incin, then there's only a dice. And if they Moonblast my Calyrex, they get Parting Shot off, I bring in Mimikyu, and then I get Fake Out Trick Room, and then I get just Blitz and Sneak until they die. Um, cool. Couple of solid games there. Um, yeah, Calyrex went nuts in that one. I'm so surprised that Incent lived though, um, from the plus one horsepower. I also miscalculated somehow, but I'm pretty sure it was plus one, right? Because turn one, what well, they partially shot of my Incent. Now I partially shot of them. Then turn two, they switch into the minus one. I shadow sneak. Yeah, so I was at plus one. Huh. Let's have a look. Cal Calyrex Ice. What's Cali Ice doing? Um, into Incineroar. That thing's really physically bulky. So Max Attack Cali Ice, um, horsepower, is doing at plus one, 112 to 132 percent. So that must have been plus defense nature, right? Bold or something? Unless I'm not Max Attack. It's possible I'm not Max Attack. I haven't actually checked the stats on this thing, I just assumed it was Max Attack, because there's not a huge amount of reason to run anything else on Calyrex. Um, yeah, to even have a chance of living that, they'd have to be, like, bold and... Well, I guess bold 60 is not unreasonable. Like, if they have a plus defense nature, they have a chance to survive it on a roll. Yeah, if I, if I catch the roll there, then the game's over instantaneously. But, I mean, even so, I just got enough damage down on the incident that it was in a really bad spot. Um, yeah, uh, so 2-0 today. It's pretty solid. Um, I think I'm slightly getting the hang of the team. Um, and it feels like the way to get the hang of the team is don't bring Lorantis. Um, <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the content, please do drop a like. Sub to the channel if you haven't already. Go follow me on Twitch. Link in the description. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.